There's one big opportunity you don't want to miss. But let's kick off today's chart show with gold. And what do we see here? Let's look at the relative strength indicator, momentum indicator, and what's happening in early March and back even in late February, it went to overbought conditions. And remember when I said, look, just because it gets to overbought doesn't mean you need to run out and push the sell button, maybe start tightening up your stops. Because when you look at the RSI, the key is 40. So you can go from an overbought down to 40 and even back higher with only a minimal downturn in price. So, so far, momentum, RSI, gold, very positive. Let's take a look at the MACD, the moving average crossover divergence strategy. And here you can see the MACD, the black line above the single line in red, again, showing positive momentum here. But you notice the price is starting to slow down a bit and that's okay, it can happen. So what would you might wanna do here, and maybe the theme of today's show, apart from our mega rally opportunity, is tighten your stops. Let's take a look at Momentum Timer Pro version six, which looks at the RSI, the MACD, and Momentum Timer Pro's proprietary indicator. Has to have two out of three positive signals to hit, trigger a buy. And it's got 23 consecutive days in a row. Like the other signals telling you, tighten your stops. I'll put a link in the corner in the description below. If you haven't signed up, it's still free. And when it eventually goes paid, those on the list now will get a huge discount. Let's look at the longer term indicators for gold. Price bullish across all the moving averages, momentum behind it, rising there above all the key moving averages, above all the momentum screens out to 12 months. I mean, this is exactly what you wanna see. However, there is some caution here because you could see this could be a major double top. And so when you have a nice run in momentum, what should you do? Tighten up your stop losses or your trailing stops, whatever you're using, whether it's price level or percentage, tighten them up. Doesn't mean it can't go higher, but if this unwinds real quick, you wanna capture as much of your gains as possible. Look for some potential support. I mean, and this is really tough because we're going back two years now on the chart, and it's hard to say that some of the people that bought back here are still holding these positions, but you'll do notice there's some volume support here, probably in the near term. If we wanted to zoom in, say to the one-year chart, your near-term support is gonna be down here around 1900. So there could be a pullback, and there tends to be pulls, pullbacks in these big moves, and then another move higher or it could be a major double top and that was it and uh, cash in your chips and go on to the next so let's take a look at the gdx the miners which have been lagging behind the metals this is a concern because normally you know you want to see the miners lead the metal here and what do we see on the rsi at 70 so again it's overbought which is not a big deal things can stay overbought for a long time 40 is the floor so there's still plenty of momentum behind this you know maybe the momentum cools off a little bit how about the macd you can see the black above the signal line slowing just a little bit but the last time it slowed just a little bit it took off again so again there's nothing here that you see in these two indicators it's telling you you know that there's a rush to get out again this is just a story of tightening up stop losses and again you've seen now two out of the three indicators for sure confirming momentum obviously momentum time pro is going to call that a buy 23 consecutive days again this is just a story of tighten your stop losses up price is bullish momentum's bullish above all the key moving averages above all the momentum screens let's head over to gd and see if it's got a chance to catch up with the metal. It's got a beautiful support now here on the two-year mark. Again, it's hard to say that you know people that bought two years ago are still holding, uh, but look at where the one-year line is at. I mean, that's pretty solid, but nevertheless, you still had buying all right in here at 34, 36, and it's running into a little bit of resistance. So in order for the miners to catch up to the metals, now you still got more upside here, but you've got plenty of support right below. And let's zoom back into the one year and you can see support right here around 34, 75, all the way to the low 34, right in here. So if there is a pullback, you know, maybe this is where you tighten your stops up. If you get stopped out, you look at coming back in here or even below if it slides below that down to this one year uh, volume profile line it looks like around 32.59. So there's some still some opportunity. And when you see these big moves, there are often and typically you should expect pullbacks in price. All right, let's take a look at silver. I know a lot of people very interested in where silver could be headed. Uh, according to the RSI, it too was recently overbought and we're seeing a bit of a pullback and that's completely expected here. Again, just like the same story before, if you jumped into silver when the RSI was oversold, 
and you rode through it, you know, you know, you kind of got a little bit of momentum here and then you trended along 40 and it's still up here telling you that as long as it's above 40, the RSI is going to give you a positive signal. How about the MACD? You know, similar to what we see with G, uh, gold and GDX, you know, momentum slowing a little bit, but is that a major cause for concern? Absolutely not. Momentum time we're hoping 22 consecutive uh, buy days. Again, all it's telling you now, when you start getting a nice run and you've made some money, if you're in those trades, tighten your stops up. Price bullish across the moving average and momentum bullish remember this was all red at one point above all the moving averages everything except the 9 12 month momentum are red but given where silver's traded from price perspective not entirely surprising uh, because it was in that long trending sideways pattern you know remember i said in here last week that this could get up to the 27 there it did it hit up there got rejected so it just validates what we know that up here at 27 you're going to see a sell zone then you've got your buy zone below now that once was a sell zone so that has flipped so what should you expect here well you notice it's consolidating kind of right in here around 26 but sometimes when you have a big move you need to pull back to get another move run at it higher i would say pull back you're looking at somewhere right here around 24 38 maybe in low 24 uh, possibly even as high as 24 79 but notice there's not a lot of, of shares traded there so I, if i was you know chasing silver here i would look for maybe a pullback and then i'd add some more but again tighten those stops up if you get stopped out look for a re-entry and you've got plenty of support. I mean, look at the one year. There's a lot of shares being trade, starting to trade here over the last year. Question is, are these people from a year ago still there? Don't know. But you see a reasonable pullback down here to 25 or even into the 24th could be another move higher. All right, so let's go on to... The one thing that could change the picture for a lot of things uh, is the dollar and it's rallying too. So you have the metals, the miners, and the dollar rallying too. Dollar's got RSI over almost a 67, went overbought, pulled back a little bit, and boom. So, you know, when you see people that are trading just around the RSI, you know, they get into this overbought position and they sell. And then the next thing you know, boom, price is right back there. And maybe they should have just hung in it. That's why you've got to look at more than one indicator. How about the MACD? You've got a just huge divergence here between the MACD and the signal line. Momentum is just building behind the dollar, telling us it can even go a quite a bit higher. And Momentum Timer Pro, uh, which I thought was on here, but uh, maybe I missed it. Uh, anyways, it should be bullish as well. You see two, two of the three signals. I guess if you sign up, you'll get the report Monday morning. Uh, price is bullish. Momentum is bullish across the moving averages. It's above all the key moving averages. All the momentum screens are positive. Everything you want to see again to tell you the price could go higher so remember you know with with gdx and gold and silver or, well with, with mainly with gold we're talking about potentially a pullback from double tops but now how about we look at the dollar which tells you there's room to run here so if you're looking at something look at this beautiful bottoming pattern so you know you have this nice kind of cup maybe a little handle here price going up where could you see uup going we'll look at the broad dollar here in a moment uh up here to you know 2671 there's a little bit of volume here up here in 26.99 and easily getting back near those highs how about we go look at dxy and again you've got a run at potentially 100 here and that is dangerous for the economy could there be a pullback yes absolutely and where would that be down to around 98 is your supply zone so keep an eye on that if you're chasing the dollar higher all right let's go on to what are defer oh there's you there we got a little bit out of order well let's fix that real easily i'll have to fix that in the uh, my slides there 16 or 14 consecutive days on momentum timer pro for the dollar so still room to run there how about we look at deferred dollars or TLT, of course, a long bond. We know Bond King loves duration. And RSI is still, I mean, despite the recent downward move in price that got a lot of people you know, shoved out of this, they bailed on this, still RSI is over 40, telling you that while mo momentum may, may not be super strong, remember in silver, it kind of crawled along, claw, crawled along and then took off. Well, maybe the same story here with TLT, because this could be the big move. And you see a little bit of a crossover now between the MACD and the signal line. So the MACD is now below the signal. That would trigger a, a, a sell. So you have so far RSI on a buy, and we have MACD on a sell. We'll see in a moment what Momentum Timer Pro thinks about that. 
But even then, this isn't a big divergence here. So this could be a very small move that could flip back pretty soon, or it could be the beginning of a sharper move lower. Momentum Primer Pro one day. So now it's in in agreement with the MACD on a sell signal. Of course, you want to see where things were out on Friday. Be sure to sign up. You'll get your report on Monday. Uh, how about price bearish across the moving averages? No surprise. Momentum still remains bullish, which is really interesting. It's now back below all the key moving averages and momentum all the way through the last nine months is negative. So let's check out this from a price perspective because I wanna show you a multi-year opportunity. So right now what happens is people are looking at this on a two-year chart and saying, oh, this thing's about to fall off a cliff. And yet, if you go back in far enough, you see that bonds don't normally do that. They normally don't fall off the cliff. So let's take a look and let's go back five years and what you'll notice now is you have support at the same price level right across here at around 135 thereabouts, maybe a little lower. And you see this is consistent with 2.4% on the third year. So if you went and looked at third year yields, you'll see that. So you'll notice there's a lot of support here at one certain level. Now let's zoom out even further so you can see what a multi-year opportunity looks like. Let's go to the, I want the max weekly chart here. And I want to start back here because a lot of people look at this and say, look, just because it, it, it tags these, it should break down. But a technical analysis with, the, with bonds is much more difficult than it is with other things because, you know, pension funds own them, foreign central banks own them, the Fed owns them. They're not sellers. So look at this multi-year bottom across here. Price goes vertical. Multi-year bottom across here. Everyone thought it was going to break down. Price goes vertical. And notice now you see in a bigger scale, you see price came up, pulled back and goes up. But notice across here, you have one, two, three, four, a little dip below, and then it just went straight up again, vertical. So what do you have here? You have a similar story as we see maybe right in here where price kind of formed a bottom, rallied up, got pulled back, pulled back, pulled back, and then release. Well, how about here? Price rallies, pulls back to the same level, pulls back to the same level, and you keep winding this thing up and there's your multi-year opportunity if you're a longer and inv term investor and you can handle some downside risk there's your opportunity the big one could be tlt making new all-time highs which is what it does when it goes vertical out of these long multi-year consolidation patterns all right let's go on to the last one we've got the energy sector remains overbought on the RSI. Again, every you know, if people would have jumped out of this every time it got overbought, they'd miss out. And that's not what you're supposed to do with the RSI. So again, it came down to 50 and rallied back. And now we maybe we're seeing some top in price. Hard to say there. Look at the MACD, still beautiful divergence there. You got the MACD well above the signal line, momentum completely behind it. Still, now we, we did pick up a couple sell days on Momentum Timer Pro, but now still running 10 consecutive buys. Not a surprise, given the MACD and the RSI are confirming price is bullish. Momentum, mostly bullish, except the 100-day moving average. Above all the key moving averages, above all the momentum screens, everything you want. Uh, the problem is, is this a time, if you're in XLE, you tighten up your stops? Well, yes. And let's zoom this in a little bit. Um, well, maybe not. Let's, let's go back to that weekly chart and maybe we'll do it this way. Notice that when XLE gets right up into this current price range, historically, it runs into a hard reversal. You see one, two, kind of not quite three, four, five, six, even though it popped up here. So what could happen? Could you get a pop up and a hard reversal? Sure. Could it run even higher and then get reversed? Yes. But when you see these vertical moves, it's time to tighten up your stop losses for sure. Here you can go back over the last five years and you can see why it's running into some congestion here because it's ran into it before. Although now if you look at the volume profile over the last five years, it is do these people still holding from buyers back then? I, I don't know if you can make that statement, um, but nevertheless, tighten up your stops on the energy sector if you're in it and look for the next opportunity. And with that, I'm Steve Van Meter. Thanks for watching. Bye now. The content of this video is provided educational information only. It's not intended to provide investor or advice. You're not to be construed as recognition or solicitation by our selling securities, financial instrument, or participate in any particular training strategy. This video was prepared by Steve Van Meter. Person passing, business expresses, and not effective. Allison, Nationals, Advising, or Steve Van Meter Financial.